Over the last few years, manufacturers have been pushing the boundaries of budget cube performance. But for a fraction of flagship prices, what exactly can you expect in 2019? Let's find out. <laughs> Thanks so much to Daily Puzzles for making this video possible. If you're in Australia or anywhere else in the world and want some great prices on over 400 cubes across their whole store, you know where to look. The links are in the description to all of the puzzles we look at in this video, and you can use my discount code TNLCubing for 10% off your entire order at Daily Puzzles. In this video, we'll be comparing some of the best value 3x3s, in my opinion, between 4 and 10 US dollars or 7 and 15 Australian dollars. The tier that's right for you is going to depend on your budget and what performance you want out of your cube. And if you're wondering why cubes cheaper than this aren't included, well, in my honest opinion, the $2 you save isn't worth it. Starting between 7 and 8 Australian or 4 and 5 US dollars, these are in my opinion 4 of the best options out there. The YJ Guanlong V3, Sheng Shao Tank, the Mofeng Jiaoshi Meilong, and the Qi Sail W. All of these cubes are non-magnetic, which is, for now, all you're going to get for this price. However, the value of performance in these four cubes really surprised me. These definitely are great puzzles that are going to do the trick for most solvers anywhere from 15 seconds to 15 minutes. All of these came a little tight for me, but once you loosen them and apply some lube if you want, I was getting only a second or two off my average on a $7 budget cube. For the average cuber, I would recommend the Shang Shao Tank or the Mofang Jiaoshi Meilong because these two are just overall solid puzzles. I found the Sail W to be too fast even for me, and the Guanlong was a little sluggish. Keep in mind though, these are just my experiences and they probably could be fixed with some more setting up, but I'm sure most of you looking at budget puzzles don't really want all that fuss. Anyway, that's all I have to say on these puzzles, now we're going to get some thoughts from Billy at Daily Puzzles. Hey everyone, Billy here from Daily Puzzles. If you're looking at budget cubes, these four are among the best when it comes to the lowest price of 303s available. When it comes to deciding which one you should buy, I'd rank these puzzles differently depending on if you plan to change the setup or just use them how they come from the factory. Regardless of if you change the setup though, the Guanlong and the Meilong are definitely the best two options since they have the best all around performance. But if you plan to lubricate and tension your puzzle, I think the Meilong has a slight edge here as it responds a bit better to lubricant and makes the turning really smooth. I wouldn't rule out the Sail W and the Tank though, but they definitely feel a little bit dated in comparison to the other picks, with a less stable design if you want to match the corner cutting ability of the other two. Overall, I think all four options are good picks for budget 303s, but I definitely recommend either the Guanlong or the Meilong over the other two. Daily Puzzles also has a YouTube channel where they unbox and talk about a heap of new puzzles coming to the store, so if you want to be kept up to date on their new releases or have a sneak peek at some upcoming products, make sure to go check out their channel, it's linked in the description. Before we get into the next major price point, it's fair to mention that for a dollar or two more than the aforementioned puzzles, the MF3 RS2 and Yushin Little Magic are also great budget 3x3s. You can check out my comparison I did of them in the past in the description if you want more information, but you're paying more and they still aren't magnetic. Which brings me to the second tier of what I'm going to call budget cubes, between 10 and 15 Australian or 8 and 10 US dollars. This price point is where you can start to find magnets, which really helps your cube's performance. The Yulong V2M from YJ and the Yushin Kailin V2M are two puzzles in this range that I've also compared before, you can check that out in the description. These cubes shocked me among many others because for a quarter of the price of the average flagship 3x3, they are super competitive. I personally can get great times on both of these cubes and you can really tell the difference the magnets make. My personal pick out of these two is the Yulong, which also happens to be the cheaper cube, just because it's much faster and has stronger magnets. The Yulong isn't as smooth as the Kylin, but I really do like its turning, and it's become one of my main travel cubes just because it's so cheap and I can get times on it very similar to what I would on my main cube. But now let's hear what another great YouTuber thinks. Introducing the one and only Tigman. Hey guys, Tingman here. TNL Cubing just asked me to share a couple of thoughts on some cubes, so here goes. Uh, they're both magnetic cubes, uh, because hashtag, life's too short for non-magnetic cubes. Uh, so you can't go wrong with either of them, uh, starting with the YJ uh, Yulong VTM. I've made a whole video on this. This is the number one cube that I recommend if someone's just like, hey, what cube should I start with? Get this one, like, you know, 
personally. Save your time on those like five, six dollar cubes. Go for this one. It's magnetic. It's incredible. The difference it makes to your solving uh, is just like nothing else. It's smooth. Uh, my only gripe with it probably is just that it's a little bit noisy. You can sort of hear the springs. It could just be my cube, but I'm not a huge fan of that. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, like it's a beautiful cube. I absolutely love this guy. It's taken quite a beating as well. Like it's normally the one I just like chuck in my bag when I'm going out of the house. Um, and it's it's great, super reliable, highly recommend it. Uh, but the other one as well is also fantastic. What I like about um, um, this one, the Kylin V2M, uh, don't know why they have like the exact same, you know, V2M name to them, uh, is that it's a stickered, like stickered uh, cube that's actually got tiles. And I love the fact that, you know, the stickers I'm gonna be peeling off. This cube is magnetic, just like the other one. It's got really smooth turning, uh, really decent corner cutting as well. And in fact, it's actually the cube that I use for blind solving. So I always, all my blind solves are, are with this one. I've actually got like eight of these guys because I do a uh, multi-blind uh, with them as well. And yeah, I really like it. I recommend both cubes highly. Really hard to pick one over the other. I don't know, toss a coin. Like I said, you can't go wrong. All right, that's it from me. And of course, subscribe to you know who, Ting Man. No, I'm just kidding, TNL Cubing. So that wraps up this comparison of the best budget cubes from a few different price points as of 2019. Thanks to Daily Puzzles for making this video and many others possible by sending all these out. Thanks as well to Ting Man and Billy from Daily Puzzles for widening the perspective on this video by giving their thoughts. Both of their channels, which you should definitely check out, are linked in the description, alongside all of the puzzles mentioned in this video. I'll have all of the top picks highlighted, and I hope this guide helps some of you looking to get your first speed cube or a well-deserved upgrade. Thanks for watching, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one.